guys are welcome back this is my boy here Adam Slink how you guys doing welcome to another crazy video uh, firstly good morning afternoon evening depending on where you are watching this video from so we have a lot to discuss today guys uh, we're going to be looking at uh, papaya the Nigerian celebrity who celebrated reaching 1 million followers on Instagram she decided to do a concert giving away to fans and uh, followers she gave uh, out iPhones and a car but it has just been established that that car is our audio giveaway. Well, we're going to look. Uh, we we're going to look at that, and uh, we still see something going on between Andy DB and Two Face because they recently unfollowed each other. You know that should tell you something is going on again. It's crazy how how uh, celebrities can show they're having issues simply by just unfollowing each other. You know their life is just so out there on social media everything and when they follow each other is he tells you that everything is good with them and as soon as they unfollow each other it tells you that nothing is working out for them you know their life is just out there it just shows how social media can validate relationship most especially all those celebrities relationship once it's not on social media it's not a relationship well we're going to look at that though that is the most uh, juicy part of this video. But let's talk about papaya. We discussed about this video, about this papaya, I, uh, in my first video I posted today. Please try as much as possible to check it out. Papaya celebrated reaching 1 million subscribers on Instagram. She decided to do a giveaway concert. She gave out high phones and a car. Fans from everywhere in Nigeria came. Even there was this particular girl that came from all the way from Ondo State to Lagos just to attend that concert and she got nothing though and um, it's crazy about that car well um there's a new revelation about that car but firstly this one is coming from uh door to turn he said if you can throw a party for gaining one million followers what will happen if you get verified Papaya just reached 1 million followers, but she has not been verified yet on, uh, on Facebook. Then, this is the shocker. Dr. Pekin said, So, Papaya S clocked 1 million followers on Instagram and hosted a big giveaway party to celebrate. People travel all over Nigeria to the venue when they heard that a random person would win a car. A lady won the car and everyone was so happy for her, but a little bit of digging revealed that the lady that won that car is a very close ally to Papaya. She is the one handling her fan account. They have been following each other and commenting on each other's Instagram posts since 94 weeks ago. That is like 2020 the heart of a woman is desperately wicked they didn't why didn't she just give the car to the girl if she wanted to appreciate her for something why make people waste their transport and lodging money when they already knew the person you would give your gift to save people to spend their money time and resources to attend this scam giveaway party and also generate free pro for yourself with the present security situation in nigeria one of those desperate might have lost their life while traveling on the road this is an all-time low and no human being should not be treated this way it's quite unfortunate she already knew the person that she want to, wanted to give that car to that girl she gave that car to is a close ally, someone managing a fan page. Then why did you allow everybody to come there to make it look like see if you're going to pick a random person? Well, I blame those of you who decided to travel, risk your life to go to that party. Can't, can't you just sit down and look at yourself through the mirror and give yourself a dirty slap that you are, you are, something's wrong with you upstairs? I saw someone, a guy crying. A, a lady probably saying she came all the way from Ondo State. What did, what did they do you? If the car is, if you, you, you have not even worked so hard to get your PVC. You have not even done nothing. Your PVC is not, you, you don't even have a PVC. 
to boat. You are traveling all the way from Ondo State. So you cannot even travel 20 km or you cannot even travel one kilometer to a, 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 a post of a, a, a PVC center to register for your PVC. But you can travel all the way just to attend a scam giveaway. Well, if this is actually true, though, I think Papaya just F up. You gave it to somebody you already know. So why are you making it look like you are giving it to people? And not to talk about the kind of a fetishness that was involved in that, rubbing people's head, rubbing, touching. Uh -uh. Well, let's forget about that. Let's talk about uh, Two-Face, Idibia, and Annie Idibia. And Idibia recently unfollowed Two-Face again because, according to the media, Two-Face is currently outside Nigeria uh, partying or yes, visiting his children with Peru. And, and I do not know, maybe that's the reason why she's angry or not, I do not know. But let me just tell you how social media can validate people's relationship. If you want to know if two couples, celebrity couples are hungry, go and check if they are following each other. If you want to know if they are still together, go and check if they are following each other on social media. You'll find out that they are not following each other. Exactly, you just know that they are, they are broken up. And if they start following, following each other, they are, they, are, they are sit together. Those people that do not even care about social media are those people that are last. Go and check social media validation. What is that? They, they validate their relationship based on social media. If they follow, they are still together. If they do not follow, immediately the public will know that those people are quarreling. And she posted some uh, messages on her page. And the crazy stuff is that uh, she shared a, a bikini photo, uh, videos that I've never seen her share before. Why? I think she's maybe kind of like angry with Two Faced Dibia, so she decided to just share a second because I don't see the reason why she decided to share that. Well, I'm going to read what she wrote recently. She said, Family is who take care of you. It doesn't matter if they are blood related or not. Know this and find peace. Family can low key be throwing stones at you and still pretend that they are standing for up for you. They can be deceptive and also pretend to be protecting you. Don't lose God. SOS. That according to her. And uh, we saw the video of uh, Two Face hanging out with uh, his, his kids, though. Peru was not, however, seen in the scene. But these are Peru's children. Can the guy go on to see his other baby mamas, uh, his kids? Definitely, when he go out to see his kids, he's going to come across the other baby mamas. Are you saying that Two Face should be complete enemy with Peru? It's impossible because of his children. It's impossible. Two Face that other time said that he, if he had known, if he should have spent more time with his children. Now he's trying to make up for the lost time. I beg go. Uh, see, I, I, I don't know if they're having an issue, but if they're having an issue, I think the Annie Dibia won't do too much, honestly. Just saying that uh, Two-Face cannot uh, hang out with Peru. You know, these guys share a kiss together. Definitely, Peru will be in Two-Face life forever. Forever. It's impossible. She will definitely be there. So, this is what you signed up for. So, accept it. You have, you are, you have been with these guys. So, I know they know that stand. Too fat. I think they recently renewed their vows. Well, I don't know what is going on around them, but I wish them all the best. Then, uh, this guy said, his name is Waziri Mohammed. He said, no man cheat when the wife is submissive. Well, this is really, uh, this will definitely spark a huge uh, debate. No man cheat when the wife is submissive. And so women will tell you that even if the wife is submissive, the man will still cheat. You know, social media validation, people talk, talk, give all sorts of a story. Let me, okay, is it that, okay, don't be submissive. And the man will continue to cheat. Everybody have their own deeper approach. But go and look at those relationships that have lasted for long please don't look at this social media I, social media validation of how relationships should be carried out it's two ways but i keep asking
people who are kind of like a little bit more uh, more as very very much experience not 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 a little bit very very much experience and ask them who should show between a man and a woman who should show submission first is it the wife or the girlfriend that will show that the man that will show the man that he has a submissive or the man should be the one to firstly show the wife the girlfriend that he is submissive before the girl will start being lawyer or the woman should show that she is submissive before the guy start being lawyer you know there have been debates and there should be even be debate but because of uh, uh feminism and all the rest coming in you know people are dragging that particular topic then now let's talk about uh late Usin Achimi has so continue to rest in paradise well federal government is taking the matter seriously they just uh table 12 count charge against the late Osinachi's husband peter they say the federal government has instituted a legal action against peter the husband of late gospel singer Osinachi. The, the attorney general federation slammed 23 sorry i said 23 charges against peter over the death of Osinachi. Well, go and face the judge, and uh, I hope this guy, if he, he if he's found guilty, I hope he's he he is locked up for a very for a very very long time. Well, let's move past that. Uh, check out this video of uh, some guys, you know, in a I, I think in a wedding ceremony they went there to spray twenty twenty naira note twenty twenty naira note. And the the punity, let me use the, the punity, the pride, spring 2020 naira. Just just if I'm doing a party and you come to my house to start spraying 2020, 2020 naira, I think you are giving me headache in a way that do you think how are we going to pick that money and still rearranging them? If you know you are bringing 2020 naira, please be, be spray it in bundles. Don't spray it like this, lose the rubber and start spraying it. It's going to take a lot more energy picking that money and rearranging it than uh, you giving us that money. It's going to take a lot more energy. So why don't you just take, okay, take this one. Or you just check it, change it to a lower, to a higher domination. Why do people even feel the need to spray uh, money? If you do not have enough to spray and you just have 5,000 naira, just put it inside envelope and give it to the person. Why must you change it to law of domination to spray? Why do you need to spray? Change it. it. All my guys that have attended their party, they know me. I do not spray. I do not spray. It's impossible for me to spray. I do not spray. The thing I do is put money into envelope and hand it to them. Even if it's 10,000, 20,000, any amount I have, just take it. I cannot spray. I cannot be... Man. People should learn that now. It's not necessary that uh, you must pray money. And uh, a big boy who stole actress Chiamaka's car at a Lagos club in uh, at, a, at a club in Lagos was recently arrested and of course dealt with. They bear down, they pray. You are a thief. <laughs> no, 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 no. The, 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 we, we shouldn't try to paint it like, okay, he stole. No, no, don't use the word stole. The guy is a thief. He is a thief. People, they can't club, can't jolly, can't spray money, can't enjoy themselves. You, they can't, they can't thief. 
with your dye hair and your big cheek and whatsoever. You are a thief. Obolobo. Yeah, you call it Obolobo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, uh, there's this trend going on currently. I do not know how serious the trend is. No, uh, f according to Todo DK, she said, Dear parents, if you have a son schooling but in Abuja, please do video call with them throughout the period. We don't want to hear justice for whoever. Well, a lot of people have made such remark that if you have uh, children in Abuja, you should do a uh, video call with them. I do not know what is going on. Maybe because of the election, Pama race. Yes, that is mainly, I think that's the reason why. So just do it if you have uh, children's school in Abuja because, you know, neutralism and all those stuff, all that stuff, we don't want to hear anything. Just do it, guys. Just do it. So thank you guys for watching the boy again. I'm Slink. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Peace.